Um, so my name is Kobe, Kobe Obi. I'm here in uh, California. That's where I'm based. And um, I'm a full-time real estate investor, part-time natural health teacher. I uh, joined this, the Sangha, I would say, December 2017. I started to follow um, Swamiji's videos back in uh, September of 2016. Um, and it took me a year to uh, finally make the great uh, move to um, go and, uh, you know, see, see my guru, who now became my guru. Uh, so, um, you know, it's just been a very, very amazing experience. And uh, I feel so blessed to have Swamiji uh, be, be in my life and to receive so much. So much has changed since, you know, uh, since then. You know, it's been now, what, four years now. So uh, it feels... It happened so so quickly, so fast, but so much has changed, and I just feel very blessed to to have this uh, wonderful experience in this genma. Wow, so nice to hear um, this uh, Kobe from you. And what was the memorable experience, or how your life changed after you came to know about the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism? Could you share that with us, please? Yes, absolutely. So, um, you know, actually, you know. Um, it was, it's funny because after following his videos for a year, um, one of the videos that stuck out to me first was the third eye video that's, that went viral on YouTube. Um, and that was one of the first videos that I, I watched. Uh, that one um, is the most memorable for me uh, that made me take a dive into continue to watch his videos. Then it was another one, Wealth Manifestation video that uh, really was interesting because that was a issue that I had in my life, which was wealth manifestation. I had my own preconceived notions and cognitions about wealth that uh, even, you know, hearing from an enlightened being such as Swamiji and, and Avatar, uh, immediately that shifted because I'm like, wow, someone could be talking about wealth like this. So fast forward, my wife and I, we had a, a, a very traumatic experience in uh, uh, October of 2017. And, you know, sometimes in the lowest moments or darkest moments, that's when, you know, a true seeker, uh, you know, take that push. Yeah. And, I, and in that case, for me, that state of powerlessness that I had, I wanted to immediately, immediately shift that powerlessness. And I knew that I had to go to India. I had to go to see Swamiji. So um, um, I did. I tried to manifest uh, Mahasadashi Voham. I didn't fully cause myself, however... You know, I was able to be in the breathing space in the Adinam um, during that for like about two weeks. And um, one of the Adinavasis was like, you know, you should do Shiva Diksha. Just do Shiva Diksha, do Kalpaturu. You know, you're here, do that at least. Um, and th during the time I was also in, back and forth volunteering. So I was like, you know what, this this is my opportunity <laughs> to, to meet Swamiji, you know. So uh, I had to get an initiation. Really, all I wanted was a hug even though I needed healing as well uh, from that experience. But I, I was like, let me just go out there and get a hug. So to get Diksha was another level, you know, um, and I knew that was Bhagwan saying, this is at least, you came here, this is what you can receive. So um, I did the Kalpaturu and the Shiva Diksha the same day. And uh, one of the questions that I asked Ma was, um, I mean, I asked five for five things. Uh, Two, which were the most important to me, which was obviously enlightenment uh, and then to manifest power in my life, manifest shaktis in my life so that I can, you know, change my reality. The other three, one, starting with the one, uh, which is healing from what I went through Two, better relationships with, uh, you know, family, friends and just the world as a whole. And then three, which is relevant to what I'm going to get into is final financial stability um because i never had financial stability in my life so um i didn't even think it's, it's, what's crazy that i have a background in real estate because my father's a real estate investor and broker but growing up i never i never wanted to do real estate but immediately after diksha you know a number of things happened for the, those the devotees and disciples who received diksha a number of things happened so a lot of mystical spiritual you know, just intense energy happened. But minutes after that, I had this kind of like vision of like real estate would be in my future. And I'm like, oh, self-doubt, self-denial because my dad is a real estate investor. I just thought I was all in my head. 
But um, and mind you, I didn't want to do real estate, but somehow it was just I saw that in the future, and I was like, nah. But fast forward after I came back to California, um, I still didn't take a deep dive into it, you know, immediately. But a year later, uh, it's, I just started to you know take massive action into real estate, and it just kind of came very you know very randomly. Um, but I immediately thought about the Diksha. I thought about Swamiji. And I'm like, okay, you know what? If this is meant to be for my future, let, mm -hmm. let's go. I'm going to go all in. So um, I started my real estate company, not knowing where I, you know, exactly, you know, uh, if it's it was going to last another year or two. But I just had trust in Bhagwan, trust in Paramashiva, and that it would, you know, I'll manifest exactly what I asked for, which was, you know, financial stability. And to start my own company uh, by way of starting my own company. So um, it took seven months for me to finally close on my real estate deal, a real estate deal after uh, creating the company. And it was uh, the most lump sum of money that I ever made wow. <laughs> you know, in my life at that time, at that point, which was almost six figures. So uh, wow. immediately I just, I already knew it wasn't even without question. It was it was Swamiji, it was the wow. boom. Yeah. Wow, that was amazing. From where you were, uh, you know, before you went to India, and wanting a financial stability, and the first real estate deal that you made was a six-figure deal. That is wonderful, Kobe. That's an amazing manifestation um, with the Thank blessings you. of Swamiji. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's 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 really it's really interesting, you know, uh, when you. When, when when you put your trust into the divine and and, and your trust into Swamiji that mm -hmm. life just changes, you know, and, and I can't even say miraculously, it's just, it really is as, as Swamiji teaches, it's a science, um, it's a high science. And, you know, um, for me, I always, I always believed once I had received that Disha, I believed that everything that I asked for from Swamiji, that it will manifest. The one that I had the doubt from, which was my own incompletions with with wealth, was <laughs> was the you know the financial stability, and that one happened rather to me. It happened fast because, like as I told you, um, usually to make six figures it took me a year, you know. But that one happened just through one deal. So, you know, it's just I, everyone who you know I, anyone who has uh, wealth incompletions. Ask Swamiji. It's really that simple. You know, just type or whatever. It was. You know, I know it's different now than it was then, but you can still find a way to ask the question through the Devi, the Devi Darshan, ask Parashakti, go in there and type away, and you will absolutely get this, uh, get, get your boon uh, fulfilled, your wish fulfilled, you know, the same way that I did. And uh, just have trust and, you know, know that it's possible. Wow. Beautiful, Kobe. So beautifully shared. Is there anything else that you would like to share about your experience? And I know you were told about the three boons you asked for me, and one was felt. And what about the other two? Oh, of course. Healing was that was taken care of. Uh, better relationships with uh, family, friends. I mean, again, I just, you know, Swamiji activating the Ananda Ganda. It's just that space of bliss constantly when people are around me, you know, they want to tell me all of their you know, issues and their problems as if I'm just a walking at Malinga, you know. And of course, <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, good, that's I'm a walking at Malinga. <laughs> so I definitely, you know, have better relationships with the world. And, you know, I just constantly radiate the state, space, powers, beings, and super consciousness of Kailasa as Swamiji uh, has, uh, has told and initiated, you know, uh, all of his disciples and devotees into that. That, that power. So I just so much gratitude for making that happen. Of course, enlightenment hasn't happened yet, but I feel just, you know, as long as I, I, I continue to uh, um, follow all of Swamiji's teachings and continue to be in that space, in the breathing space of Swamiji, um, you know, eventually before, before I leave the body, you know, I, I, I know just like many of us uh, <laughs> desire, we'll, we'll, Receive that as well. 
absolutely could be. And one of the things I can say from my experience of living around Supreme Court of Hinduism is, you know, that the we start living a conflict-free life. We start manifesting what we want. All these are different dimensions of enlightenment, which start happening in your life, completion. Uh, being having a deep feeling connection with the Guru and being able to manifest what we want in life, living our life more and more in powerfulness, right? The amount of time that we spend in powerlessness will be drastically less. And even if we are powerless, we spring back to the space of powerfulness much quicker than our normal people or than other people who do not have, who have not received the initiation. So all these are different flavors of enlightenment. And from my own experience, I can say, only after a few years, you look back and you see so much you, you have changed. So much changes have happened in your life. And the way you respond to life, your cognition, perception, everything is so different. So the way we experience and Swamiji makes this experience enlightenment, like, you know, he says it's ultimate but not final. So it keeps, we keep manifesting different, different, different dimensions of enlightenment and, mm. and, and we keep growing into it. Mm. And only after, like, you know, so living that conflict-free life and living um, a life where we know I can manifest what I want in my life with Swamiji's blessings are various dimensions of enlightenment. I can, I can say talking to you and just listening to you and the space of bhakti that, uh, that you know, you are radiating with the Supreme Point of Hinduism. You are definitely living and radiating so many dimensions of living enlightenment, Jeevan Mukti. I can say that for sure. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. I really, that's wonderful words and I appreciate that. And everything you're saying resonates absolutely with me and it's extremely true, you know. Um, one thing that I will share before, you know, um, uh, we, we depart is that to speak to that, I, de I did um, uh, 108 days of uh, Nirahara Samyama, which obviously is the longest time I went without food, listening to, you know, Bhagwan's words of, just stop eating, you know, if you, if you want, you know, change in life, just stop eating, you know? So for me, I, I only did, I did a fast before that, but it wasn't that long. So to do that fast of one, 108 days, this breathing, just the, the, the state and the space that I was in, you know, life just became, like you said, conflict free. It was just like bliss, just living and radiating bliss, you know, throughout the entire day, even doing the work that I'm doing in real estate, me going on meetings, I was able to go on meetings and go see homes, houses, and, you know, uh, without feeling like I was powerless or feeling weak, you know, I just had this intense energy. And, and I know that it's because of being, uh, being a disciple of Swamiji. I know that it's because of having trust in Swamiji, just being with me every step of the way, because I took that sankalpa to say, I'm going to do 108 days. I don't care. I'm doing it. He said, stop eating. So I'm stop eating. Simple like that. Once I made that sankalpa, that declaration, then, you know, I knew I was guided and I was protected by, by Paramashiva Swamiji, his divine holiness, Bhagwan, Sri Nityananda Paramashiva. And it's really that simple. So for, for again, for anyone who's listening, you know, just get out of the self-doubt, self-denial. Don't wait too long like I did um, just take a deep dive in just jump right in beautiful thank you so much Kobe for coming and sharing your beautiful and a wonderful experience um, in the Canada TV thank you so much thank you Ma thank you